Mr. 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 Ryan. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay, so today we still talk about the uh, uh, probability, yeah, Prob probability of rolling three dice, and uh, we want to, you know, see rolling three dice, yeah, rolling three dice. But we want, we want to calculate, we want to calculate the probability of increasing dice, okay, increasing numbers. Well, what does it mean? For example, one, two, three, yeah, or two, three, four, yeah, strictly increasing, yeah, alright, yeah. yeah? Uh, four, five, six. Okay, so this is the kind of increase. Five, six, seven. Yeah. No, no, there's no seven. Yeah, yeah because the dice. Yeah, there could be one. There will not be twelve. Why is one or twelve? The dice is only six. Six. Yeah, yeah but they're different types. One of them red. No, oh, this okay. is original dice. Okay, okay, yeah. original dice. Come on, can you sit tight, please? Come on, come on. Okay, so what's your uh, score? <coughs> you um. But f first thing is that we want to so these these three uh, sequence yeah they are unique right so like each number is each dice is unique all right yeah okay so what's the probability of rolling the three unique numbers for for the first one the probability is we can pick any right yeah one what's the second if we pick the first one what's the probability of picking a second number which is not the same as the first one. What is it? So the what? I roll a dice. I roll a number. What's the problem? Five, six. Yeah, five or six. And what's the third one? Which is four, not the same. Yeah, four or six. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So now after this, I I will have we will have we will have three unique numbers. Yeah, number. Yeah. This probability. Yeah. 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 So three numbers. How many permutations? Is it. How many permutations? Hmm. Permutations. <laughs> Three, three numbers, one, two, three. How many kind of permutation? You remember permutation? Six. Six, yeah. Which is what? Three times two times one, yeah? Three factorial, yeah? Come on. Three factorial, yeah? Come on. So what we need to do is that this probability just needs to divide it by that, right? So so let, let's calculate it to see, to see, okay, to see what's the value, okay? Let, let's do this. Uh, print. Print, okay? Print, print what? In this, and this is the probability of rolling three unique dice, yeah. And then we need to divide it by six, yeah, because this is a unique uh, permutation. Because look, why we divide it by six? Because there are the probability of having three unique numbers, like only one sequence, which is which is right, am I right? Yeah, like two, three, one. You can only find one strictly increasing number, which is one, two, three, am I right? Because they are different, right? Can you have two? No, right? No, right? Am I right? Okay, so let's let's do to check this and to see if uh yeah baby. Okay, so to see what what's this number. Okay, so this is around uh, nine point two percentage. Okay, okay. Nine point two percentage. Oh, again, we can prove okay. Three percent is the most boring so can, way. We can iterate. We can emulate all the possible situations. We just check if the first is smaller than the second and then smaller than the third one, right? So look. Range one seven, yeah. Can you tell me what's the next four second in what? Yeah, range yeah. one seven for third one again in range one seven, yeah. Yeah, and then look if first smaller than what? All right, come on. Can you can you remind me what's what to do there? If first smaller than second, smaller, yeah, and then we want to call this. Uh, Count plus equal one, okay? CNT equals zero. What's the total number? What's the total number of the situation? What's the total number? If you're rolling three dice, what's the total number of uh, possibilities? How many kind of choice? Sorry? Three. One is six. Two is what? Five. Sorry? Five. No, what I mean, total po number of possibility. Rolling one dice is six, six possibilities. Rolling another dice to two. Two numbers. Six times what? Um, what? Huh? Two. two. What do you mean two? What's the number of possibilities of rolling one dice is six? What's the number of possibilities? What's the number of possibilities of rolling three dice? Uh, 216. Yeah, 216. Right? Yeah? Okay, then we can print CNT divided by total. So this should give me 
the roughly the same number. Yeah, you see? Okay, what's the first? The last one is different. The last one is different, yeah? Yeah, yeah Okay. Different. Okay, let's see. Okay, look, look, it's uh, different, yeah. Okay, so this number rounded up to that. You know the mathematic calculation, the floating point calculation in computer has this rounding error, all right? Because uh, we're, using, uh, we're using like four bytes or eight bytes, yeah, to represent a floating point number. So for example, if I say point 1.2 minus 0 0.2, is it equal to 1.0? It will tell me false, I believe. Oh, you will tell me true. Uh, let's yeah, wait. that's true. That's true. Okay, th let's try this one. Okay, so why is it true? Mm. Floating point errors. Floating point errors. No, it's, a, it's 1.2 minus 1.0. Uh, 0.2. 1.2 minus 1.0 yeah, 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 yeah. equals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right, yeah. Okay, so. So oh, sometimes yeah. it has these uh, floating point errors, yeah, floating point errors, yeah, false, yeah. But this in mathematics is is, is true. Why is that? Because we can go, uh, we, we can just ch check these, uh, you know, rounding flow Python floating point error, okay, Python floating point error. And then maybe we have a better, uh, okay, so one point better understanding, yeah, you see. Okay, this has little to much more how the underlying platform handling from port. Okay, this is normal case is not when from the internet. Is. It's a problem causes when the internet. Okay, when the when the internal representation of floating point mode, which use a fixed point number of binary digits to represent to represent a decimal number. Okay, yeah, I see. Okay, so w w maybe we can search another one which is called uh, I triple E floating point. Uh, then you will tell me how. I E E E I triple E. Okay, so what does it look like? So yes, you see. So this this gives the how do we represent uh thirty two bit is thirty two bit is four bytes. How do we represent a floating point number? So we are not representing a number like minus two four eight point seven five. This is a string. Yeah, we represent it something like minus something to the power of something. Yeah, do you understand? Yeah, okay. So, so it has this for uh, uh, errors, yeah, errors. Look, the first bit is sign, positive or negative. Exponential mantisa, yeah, mantisa, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So that explained that that is something that uh, we might come into, you know, we we might discuss uh, a bit in more details later. Okay. But you for now you just have to know that. Uh, the the number of uh, the ways that computer handles floating point numbers is it has this position errors right because they only have these four bytes or eight bytes four bytes for a single floating number eight bytes for a double floating point numbers to to store the the, the numbers yeah yeah do, do you get it because look for for the integer for the integer same as the integer like integer has one byte uh, one byte is eight bit if it's if it's if it's uh, one byte, it's two hundred fifty-five, right? Zero to two hundred fifty-five. If one 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 one, this is fifteen, right? All right, and then one 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 one. Okay, there are a one, one a one. So so this is what, this is what, this is two hundred fifty-five. Okay, if I print it, if I print it, it will be two hundred fifty-five. This is actually one byte, one byte. Okay, yeah, one byte has eight bit, right? Each bit, yeah, each bit is zero and one. Yeah, yeah two. Boy. Yeah. Do you yeah. understand? Okay. So if it's one bit, what's the how many numbers we can store? If it's one bit, two, right? Zero and one. How about two bit? How what's the maximum number we can store? Huh? Two bit. You know, one zero one zero 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 one one zero one one. How many? Four. Yeah. How many? How about three bit? You know, one zero 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 one zero one zero. Do you, do you get it? So I, it's I can't remember the pattern. You don't need to remember a pattern. The, the thing is that each one look, each one each one has two possibility. So you you say two times two times two. So right. So how many eight? How many ones are there? There are eight. So it's two to the power of eight. Right. So that's two hundred fifty. Do you get it? So it's like that we have a uh, eight bucket. Each one has 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 two choice. Right? Alright? Mm -hmm.
it's the same. It's it's quite similar than growing the diocese, right? The first the yeah. for first diocese you have six six possibilities, right? Yeah. The second one you have another six possibilities. The third one has this, another six possibilities. So how many total number we can represent using the uh, a dice? Hmm? Six times six times six. Yeah. That's the that's the multiplication. Yeah, it's the same thing here. Yeah, okay, okay. So look, these we are iterating the the dice. Yeah, we we just simulating the situation. So then we we try to roll the first dice and we roll the second dice and then we roll the third dice and then we check if the first dice smaller than second dice smaller than third dice. Then we c increment this counter and then we divide it by the total number of occurrence, which is two hundred sixteen, and that give us the possibility. Yeah. Okay, so which is around 9.2 percentage, am I right? Mm -hmm. What's the time complexity if you're looking at this for loop? What's the time complexity? Mm. What's the time complexity? Uh, one. Oh, one, well done, because the input are fixed. Yeah, input are fixed. There's no end here, right? It's all one constant. The total number of iteration we are going to simulate is 216, am I right? Yeah? Yeah? Mm. Okay, that's it for today. Come on. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye.